Hello YouTube, Fishing 99 here and I would actually like to talk to you about a card that's been out for ages but nobody uses it anymore. You're probably asking yourself right now, what is this card? Well, the card is card is very simple. It's Slifer the Sky Dragon. This card here is very, very useful as, well, basically just straight up useful for every card in your hand it gains 1,000 attack. For on top of that, it actually does more. It is actually more useful than people realize. Slifer the Sky Dragon has a special effect other than gaining 1,000 attack for each card in your hand. Yes, that is very useful, especially with infinite cards on the field. But, if you, if your opponent summons a monster, normal summon, special summon, doesn't matter. Actually, I think it does matter. Let me check. I have the ruling set up. I'm going to read directly off of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wicca page here. Requires three tributes to normal summon. Cannot be normal summon. This card's normal summon cannot be negated. When normal summon, Cards and effects cannot be activated during the end phase if this card was special summoned, send it to the graveyard, which is normal. We already know this, but it continues. This card gains a thousand attack and defense for each card in hand. I just went over that. When a monster of monsters is normal summoned or special summoned to your opponent's side of the field in face up attack position, that monster or monsters loses 2,000 attack, and if this attack is reduced to zero as a result, destroy it. People fail to use this ability because nobody uses Slifer. Slifer could honestly be an anti meta card if used against the right, well, pretty much any day. Right now the meta mostly evolves around monsters with 2,000 or less attack. For example, if you look on to the Photon cards, most of them require, only have about... Well, they basically have about 800 and up. I think uh, Photon Crusher or Photon Striker, I can't remember which one it is, but one of them has about 2100 attack. So Slifer would not be able to destroy him. However, he would only have about 100 attack. I apologize if I've got the card mixed up. I, I really don't pay attention to most of the Photon cards. I used to run the deck on Dueling Network, but that was... Uh, long time ago. But another thing about Slifer, just say you can get it out very, very quickly. Even, um, well, even uh, Morphing Jar with the special effect of Book of Tyre to flip it back face up and then you already have three monsters in your hand. Say you have to because you have to discard that, so you automatically discard four cards from your hand. So does your opponent, regardless of how many cards they've played or set, they send their hand to the grave. You send this back, well, then you draw five new cards. Say you draw Slifer and a Dimensional Fissure and say, not Fissure, but a uh, Fusion, and then say you get a Soul Release. You activate Soul Release, remove from play your three cards, and then you activate the dimensional fusion, summon them three cards, and then you summon Slifer. Then, even if you only have a monster, 
even if you only have like two cards in your hand after this, you don't even have to set because when they summon a monster with 2400 or thinking that they're going to kill Slifer, the effect of Slifer activates and automatically reducing their monster to below 2000 or destroys it because it hit zero. So this card has a lot of pluses and nobody really takes into account how powerful the Egyptian God cards are and even how powerful they used to be, let alone that they are still extremely powerful. But nobody wants to really use them anymore because of the fact that it requires three tributes. That's another reason why people stopped using uh, that one sacred beast, the uh, thing type. Uh, cannot remember its name but it's still a very good card. If you have any questions, please uh, like this, comment, subscribe. Fishing 99, signing out.